Hi guys, I'm Mariam. I'm super excited to be back on my channel with another video tutorial. Since my last video, I've gotten a lot of requests from you on my social media pages. And the most popular look that you guys requested was actually one that I posted on Snapchat a few days ago. I showed a progression from no makeup to the look that I'm wearing today. And you guys liked it. You wanted to see the eye look in action on my YouTube channel, so here it is. Uh, this look has sort of become my everyday go-to. I wear it anywhere from a business meeting with a brand to a dinner with friends. It's really easy to put together. It's fresh and trendy. It makes me feel really good and I hope it does the same for you. So let me show you how to get it. For the first step, I'm gonna be using this beautiful brown shade. I've already applied my primer onto my lid and I did it off camera just for the sake of time. And now I'm gonna start working that shadow onto the outer edge of my crease. And if you notice, I'm holding my brush a little bit differently. I'm not holding it the traditional perpendicular way. I'm keeping it kind of on its side because I want to maximize the color and I want to hit a larger area. This actually saves time and makes the eyes look bigger and more dramatic. Next, I'm taking a clean, stiff, fluffy brush and I'm just diffusing the edges. Then with the same brush, I'm picking up this cool nude shadow from the same palette and I'm applying the shade to the inner portion of the crease ever so gently. And I'm continuing to diffuse the brown shadow using windshield wiper motions and small circular motions. And if you feel like you've diffused or you've removed too much, too much of that brown, you can just go back and add a little bit more to that outer corner. And again, I'm keeping the brush on its side just to cover a larger area. And then once again, you wanna diffuse. Next, I'm taking the deepest shade onto a small fluffy brush. I'm applying that shade to the very outer corner of the crease, sort of in a V shape like this. And then I'm gonna open the eye and I'm literally going to apply it over the crease. This is a trick for hooded eyes to really open up and elongate that shape. So you're creating shadow where there otherwise wouldn't be one. This is a trick that I've been using for years. Of course, you wanna blend everything to make sure it's seamless and smooth, like that. Now pick up the lightest shade with a flat eyeshadow brush and apply it to your lid using patting motions. Just keep packing it on. It doesn't even have to be super bright. Just a subtle touch, like this. Now to make the eye bigger and brighter, I like to line directly underneath. I don't go too far in. I finish exactly where my lower lashes end, about right here. And I just shade gently, no harsh lines, just soft and maybe wing it out a little. And if you want, you can diffuse it some more with the brush. Just use whatever remainder shade was on it. I think it was the deepest brown. And just blend it out some more. For the lid, I'm gonna be using this pearly shade. It's called Oyster Shell, and it's by LA Splash Cosmetics. This is a loose shimmer powder, so I like to put my finger underneath just to catch any fallout. I'm just packing it onto the center of the lid. You see how bright and pigmented that is? It's still very wearable though, because it's light and it's reflective. Great for daytime. I'm also applying some to the inner corner and directly below the tear duct. This is also kind of a nice bridal color. Very pretty and princessy. And now for my liner application, I'm gonna be using a fat, chunky marker type liner. This one is by Cargo. It's called Texas Liner and I love it solely for the name. And so I'm lining my eye kind of heavily. I'm keeping the line thick throughout. And then I'm gonna take a smaller liner, maybe something like this by Motives, or this one by Alcone. I'm gonna use the Alcone one because it's a very similar consistency to the cargo liner. And with this liner, I'm actually going to etch out the wing, make it nice and perfect in that outer corner. There we go. And then I'm gonna add my twiggies, as always. This 
is a great trick for those of you who don't have a lot of bottom lashes or if yours are sparse like mine. Just place them in those areas where you're lacking and then apply mascara on top and these lines will be masqueraded beautifully. I'm using Tarte Lights Camera Flashes Mascara. I like it because it's chunky and it makes the lashes much more visible than before. And now I know you may still see my little twiggies, my little fake drawn lashes, but trust me, no one's gonna be getting that close to your eye. And from far away, once I zoom out, you'll see that they're not even noticeable. And this is how I apply my falsies. I'm using House of Lashes glue, which is my favorite. It's excellent. You've got this little brush that you can put right along the wand. And you can just wait for it to dry a little bit to get tacky and apply it. So once the glue has gotten tacky, you want to just use dull tweezers and you want to apply it to the center, then secure the outer and the inner portion of the lash band. And if you're applying with tweezers, it's particularly easy because then you can kind of glue your lashes to the false lashes by pressing them together like so. And to complete my bright eye application, I'm gonna apply this nude pencil right into my waterline. I think white is a bit too harsh, but nude is perfect. And that's it for the tutorial. Super simple and easy. I'm sure you could recreate it. So definitely send me your looks on my Instagram and on my Facebook. I'll see you on Snapchat. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys soon. Bye.